Today's video is sponsored by ASICPrices.com. ASICPrices.com is one of my new favorite sites to scope out true profitability and ROI rankings before I make my next ASIC purchase. Check this out. I can simply enter my current electric rate and instantly see what ASICs are best suited for me. On top of that, let's say I want to find what ASIC miner is most profitable to stack Doge and Litecoin. Just select your algo and bam, there is the Bitmain L7. ASICPrices.com has taken things to the next level. Look at this. When you select a miner, look at all this amazing information. Miner statistics and overviews, historic miner prices, daily and 30 day mining revenue, trusted vendors, and much, much more. Go check out ASICPrices.com today. What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel well you're in for a treat today i have a guest joining me here is jeff key from the flux team what's going on man good afternoon how you doing i am doing awesome so it's really funny him and i were just chatting and i was like man i've never spoken to him before we chat back and forth all the time but we've never actually had a call so that's entirely my fault i do apologize <laughs> no, don't, don't apologize it means that we can get things done with text only which is kind of good Yes, 100%. So for those of you guys joining, um, you know, let's kind of dive into it a little bit here, uh, Jeff, Key, you know, what is your role on the Flux team? Other than uh, master of everything, what is actually your role on the team? Sure, I was going to say master of everything, but that's going to go down. <laughs> um, so actually, I'm, I'm, I'm the CBO, so that's uh, okay. uh, the chief uh, business officer. I, I shared the title with uh, Debbie the dog, who is also mm -hmm. the the chief bark officer so we, we both share the cbo role um which is kind of funny uh, i i my kids pointed out to me the other day i'm like right i didn't notice that so it was kind of funny. <laughs> um so as, as as a business officer it's my job to go out and create new opportunities for flux um and for the community as a whole uh reach out to other projects out there uh reach out to conventional uh, businesses uh talk with uh with a lot of other uh, C-suite kind of uh, leadership out there, um, hmm. see what we can find as a common ground to start working with uh, with other folks. Uh, I, I lead conversations with Lumen. I, I, I do the conversations with OVH. Um, we, we talk frequently, uh, almost on a weekly basis, what we can do together, uh, what the future holds, future plans. Um, and then I also make sure my guys like uh, Alex and mm -hmm. um, Lucas and a couple other of uh, the guys that we just had Scott join us as well, um, make sure that they're um, reaching out in, in their field. Um, the, the beauty of business development is, is that you don't need to be a pure business developer to be able to do this kind of work. Um, you need to have a, an interest, a focus and, and, and have a, a ton of contacts. So uh, basically in a nutshell, networking. Uh, it's it's very important to do a lot of networking, uh, hence why I went to Bitcoin Miami with Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of handshaking there, and introducing Flux, uh, have the the world get introduced to Flux and and see what we can do for them. Yeah, so I think that's it's very it, interesting. Yeah. As you're saying that, it's when you're the guy that connects the dots. You take two dots that wouldn't have crossed paths and you connect them together um, in order yep. to you know create that relationship in business, which I think speaks a lot because you know when we look at Flux and we look at all the projects that Flux is involved with, you're participating or connecting those dots between a lot of those, which is amazing. So aside from Flux and everything you do with Flux, you know, I'm super curious and I think my audience is too, just kind of hearing these stories and that's kind of what I'd like to bring to them is like, when and how did you get into crypto mining? What, uh, you know, um, so give us the rundown. When did that start and what pulled you into it? Well, it was about uh, 2017. I think one of the, the bigger bull runs uh, was happening at that point. And I was completely unaware of, of blockchain and a whole. I had okay. no idea. So I'm, I'm, I'm in medical IT myself uh, most of the time, okay. so I was doing a lot of, uh, I was just knee deep in, into issues with, with, with radiology, things that mm -hmm. I was fixing, and my boss at the time and, 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 and one of my best friends at this point uh, and, and mentor was like, hey, um, have you heard of this thing called Bitcoin? And I was like, vaguely, I, I heard it pass by and, and I think it was like, yeah, like some of the guys that I was working with talked about it. and. 
they hadn't mined it after I learned. Um, and so I started doing research because that's that's my my thing, right? As soon as I get an interest in something, I like hyper focus and I go hard and uh, looking into it and uh, and mining and, and how to do it. I was so intrigued. Like, so anybody can contribute to this. That's so cool. I learned, of course, afterwards that I didn't have an ASIC uh, available to me. So <laughs> GPU mining yep. was not my thing. So I figured yep. out ways around it. How do I get those mm -hmm. Bitcoin and how can I mine it? So I learned about NYSASH. So yes, uh, I am Davey Whitlock. I did mine with NYSASH. <laughs> I, 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 I Welcome, Davey. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, I, I loved it. And, and the reason I loved mm -hmm. it was it was so easy to use. I yeah. Click on the button and, and off I, I went. Um, so I think uh, the first month, and I still have my card actually. I have it here laying around. That was my my first mining rig. That was my card. Wow, look at that. A 7950. Cool. Yeah, good for you. Those are the ones you hold on to, though, because it's just oh, like yeah. a display so, piece. It's a talking piece, you know? And, and it's going to be a display piece. Like, uh, one of my guys yeah. uh, who's very handy He's going to put it on a rock with a little uh, pickaxe next to it. Uh, oh, very cool. Something we're going to either uh, give away at Cypherpunk or mm -hmm. I'm going to do something with it, though. Or I'm just going to be nice. I, I don't know. But yeah, that's how I started. And then I started looking into coins and mm -hmm. um, other type of video cars. And, and then you go through the road, right? Like, hell, I'm, now I know everything. I, I'm, I'm an expert at, uh, at mining. <laughs> yep. I, I know what to do now. No, you don't. I, so I started looking at YouTube videos. Uh, mm -hmm. What was the software back then that was so popular? I think it was called Claymore. Claymore was like the big miner back then that everybody yeah. used and it required so much more configuration and adjustments and tweaking than like today where it's just like you set it and you're done. Yeah. Yeah. So that intrigued me. Right. So as a technologist uh, thing that was for me, was like, oh, this is so much fun. So I mm -hmm. got to buy my 580s on the shelf there. Those yeah. Are still mining today. So from 2017 till now. You and me both. Uh, you and me both. Mine are out there mining too. I, I don't care the efficiency on them, but. Yep. They find the block here and there, and I'm happy mm -hmm. uh, when they do. Um, That's great. And But yeah, it was so hard to find cards back then, right? So the bull mm -hmm. run was really kicking off, and uh, I run into issues with not finding cards, and, and I'm like, how do I expand on this? Like, I want to mm -hmm. I want to do more, and I'm, and and money was not was a little tight at the moment uh, mm -hmm. for the family. Uh, we got a large family here, so any money okay. that I have available goes back to the kids or yep. investing in, in the house or whatever. And I was like, how do I expand on this? So I started my own pool. Uh, I figured I might now what year what year do you think what year do you think this was if you were to throw it out? February twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay, so you start your own pool and uh, how did that go for you? Of, at the, at the height of Bitcoin at that point. Yeah. The worst time you can start doing this type of stuff. And so I started with five dollar VPSs on Vulture. I will never forget that. Okay. Um and me and a friend, uh, we were talking about it, and he was big into Discord at that point. So I'm like, oh, well, that's this Discord thing. So I started mm -hmm. going into Discord channels. Um, and then we started our own pool. Um, it started slow, uh, but we were able to manage to cr uh, get a crowd going. We had, a, like, before we know it, we had like a few hundred people in a Discord, and they were all mining on our uh, pool. It was called Pickaxe, uh, if okay. for, so, for folks who might know it. Um, and then the Masternode craze started as well at the same time, roughly. Uh, coins like Dash and, and others. So we started uh, exploring with that small community as well. Like, how do we get into Masternodes together? So we started a shared Masternode uh, thing at the same time. So were you reserving a lot of space, like with cloud services and stuff like that, for like your pool yep. and for, as you said, VPSs and Masternodes? Okay, so everything was not housed anywhere locally to you. No, it was all hosted. No, okay. No. And, and I wanted to keep everything in the cloud, right? So I've smart I'm, being in IT myself. The worst thing that I always had was, oh, this server is down. Now everything is down. Yep. So, yep. Um, so we scaled pretty rapidly. And by, I think at the height of the, the thing, we had like 50 servers running master nodes, wow. full uh, Stratus servers, uh, Stratum servers. Why mm -hmm. did I say Stratus? I, maybe it's a <laughs> uh, That's but right. Stratum servers. Um, yep. And then we got into Raven. We were one of the first pools on Raven. So we had at one point like a few thousand miners on Raven. Wow. Um, yeah, it was it was fun. The only downside, and I and I know Mining King is 
dabbling with pools now. <laughs> yes, he is. The only downside with pools, you don't sleep. Oh, really? Is it just constantly something? Well, just think about it, right? Your miner itself, your mining rigs, how often do you sometimes have to intervene, right? Either mm -hmm. you lose connection to a pool yep. or something on the internet hose down, anything, right? Now think about it. You're now the center of, of that universe. So everybody's connecting to your servers. And um, it's not fun when your server goes down and a, a couple thousand people are like, hey, why is... Why am Knocking I on mind? your door. What's going on? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Yep. And then the education piece of it as well. Hey, a lot of people were into Nysash at that point. So they started mm -hmm. migrating into the other altcoins. Um, and they didn't understand that there was no payment until a block was found. So you get, gotcha. you get to deal with all, all that education, which I love, by the way. I, I love teaching people because I knew at that point I, they they were looking at me for answers, but I was only in the space for a few months at that point myself. So You were young, uh, infancy, yeah. Yep, yeah, but it was fun. Um, and so uh, we, we, I think we had at one point like 15, 20 coins running on the, the thing. Uh, wow. All with the, the QT wallets and all the fun stuff mm -hmm. with that that comes with it. Um, <laughs> QT it was, wallets, it, man. Yep. Yeah, and and here comes Goose, um, and 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 you might guys might know Goose from some of the videos that uh, Flux yep. has, and then the introduction videos and training videos. And Goose was one of the community guys in in our uh, in our Discord, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm doing these videos." And so he was making videos on how to mine on Pickaxe and and all the next coins. And he came to me, he's like, "Have you heard of this new coin called Zell?" And I'm like, "Oh boy." Another another, another new coin. Yep, there's all another yep. one. Yep. Yep. So we we already were burned a few times as a community mm -hmm. with a couple coins that were pure rock pools. Right. Yep. Because nowadays it's all about the meme coins and the tokens and and pre-sales here and there. Back then it was all about the new proof of work coin and every proof of work coin and I will never forget it. They were the fastest on the block. They had the most transactions that they could do and all the <laughs> promises and all the things. You heard you hear that a thousand times. Yep. I oh, get yep. it. Yep, and I'm like, all right, here goes the next one. And then people would mine it. We would make mm -hmm. sure we were in early. We get our bags, and we got out yep. as fast as we could, and mm -hmm. that was good. Um, unfortunately, uh, while we were having fun with the pool, and and we were starting to get introduced to Zell, and uh, Goose was like, hey, let's let's build the, the the a community pool for 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 Zell, and we're like, yeah, let's do it. So we okay. created the the what's now called Flux Pools. Um, I created the, the, the first iteration of that, okay. uh, back in 2018, uh, 2019. Um, unfortunately back then Bitcoin was slowly, but surely degrading. Mm -hmm. Um, and I basically didn't sleep. Right. So Ugh. pool pools, uh, pool operation is 24 uh, seven. Now, were you finding it to, now? Were you finding it at the height of that to be profitable, at least for you as a pool operator, like. You were covering your operating costs, but then you were yeah. at least able to walk away with something. No, we never walked in away with anything. Oh, like, okay. That was the thing, right? So yep. we were able to keep everything up and, uh, and running. Yep. Um, so the pool was paying for the services and the servers. Mm -hmm. That was all good. Um, and then the master notes, the same thing. But because of the declining Bitcoin, we noticed mm -hmm. that my reserves were starting to dwindle. To okay. keep up with paying for the servers and the new coins were not as profitable anymore um and and we saw that the liquidity was kind of drying up in the in the space right? yeah so we kind of see the same thing at times uh, these days and, and i see that now on twitter of, oh it's all mm -hmm. done no it's not no mm -hmm. it's not and that's sure. the, that was that's the one thing i learned from back then even though i turned down the pool and it was very sad the community is still around like the pickaxe mm -hmm. uh discord still exists Wow, really? Okay. Thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not as active as it used to be. Sure. Uh, it, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. I learned a lot and got introduced to, to Zell, now Flux. Um, and I even joined the, the Zell team at that point already uh, as a junior developer because I was, I was working on the pool. I was doing a lot of yeah. things. Um, I, I think one of the things that I built back then was APIs for all the prices uh, for Zell Core back then. Um, so I got in early, but I got so burned out on, on this. Entire uh, it sounds thing. like it. It sounds like oh, it. Yeah. 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 I needed to step away. So I stepped out of, um, 
like the end of 2019, early 2020, I turned everything off, even my okay. five A's. Um, we had to do some renovation here in the basement in my office. Mm -hmm. So I turned everything off as like, you know what? Sometimes it's good to take a break of it. Well, we'll yeah, hundred percent. Okay. And, um, took a break from it. Uh, COVID hit fun times. Um, mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I was, uh, I wasn't really mining back then, but I was keeping an eye on, on some of the, the, the trends. Um, I still had my, my crypto at that point. I didn't mm -hmm. sell anything. I held it all. Um, good for you. And, yeah. And then when the market went way up, I sold a ton of it and was Great. able to, uh, cash in on some things. Um, uh, Dan. Uh, contacted me at one point again, and that was two years ago. And, and wow, that was two again. years ago. Wow, yeah. I mean, it's definitely wise to take profits when you can. I mean, that's something I yep. always struggle with as a passionate crypto miner is like taking profits, and that's yep. one of my goals for this year is just like be okay with taking profits and and liquidating some of those bags. Like it's okay. That's like that. That's the whole point of it, right? Um, so. No, I totally agree. Well, that's awesome. I, I appreciate that backstory. I mean, just kind of learning kind of how you got into it, you know, starting in the weeds as a pool operator and, and, and kind of going from there. So, so now you're on the flux team, things are going great. Um, you know, you guys have proof of useful work, which is in the crosshairs coming out here, uh, in the near future, you got your benchmark tool, uh, coming out here a month, I guess, or, or a little, little more than a month away, I guess, for mining disrupt. Um, yep, a month and a half. you know, you, you and I have started chatting more and more about you returning to crypto mining yourself. Uh, and we've been chatting a little bit about this, this interest you and your wife have on a shed. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So as, as, as you might've noticed, there's a couple yeah. different type of video cards sitting here um, and, and a small rig as well. So yes, I am. And me and Dan, we talk all the time, right? So me and Dan, we're already talking. Oh, we should get back to mining itself. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. Um, he went crazy. So you <laughs> might have seen the videos of him buying a couple things. I'm Just like, a couple oh, things. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I, I, I got an, an option to buy this. And I did. I'm like, Dan oh, doesn't do anything small. Let's be honest no. here. Nope. No, no. He's, um, yeah, he goes big. And, and. But good reason. He, he yep. seems to be uh, hitting it off uh, more than once, so good for him. Yeah. Um, and I was I was looking at this uh, like because I was doing it always in the basement here, and I'm like, the heat is is always uh, fun in winter, but in summer it gets really annoying. The noise as well. Mm -hmm. um, I use this now as my main office, so I can't really have much running here. So I'm like, what are my options? Like, I should it should be something. So I started googling, and mm -hmm. I I actually stumbled on your videos um i was like well that's kind of easy i i can put mm -hmm. it in my yard i have space lots yep. of space um so i started looking into it uh thank you for the spreadsheets those were really handy um i made a business plan and awesome went to the bank already and and we're working there with them um quick tip for everybody when you go to a bank and you want to <laughs> have them help you with an investment don't mention the word crypto or blockchain nope i i have my own llc as well mm -hmm. um it, it basically part of the name is it solutions which is okay um so same thing good uh and and the bank was really enthusiastic about it uh, when i started saying hey yeah I'm, I'm they're like why do you need all this hardware i'm, not, I'm building out ai uh machines and they're like oh, there you go oh. Oh, now yeah. buzzword ai buzzword <laughs> and, and, and it's fun because now they're like oh yeah let's let's do it let's do it so, yeah um it's interesting it's interesting how they but then because then i fully disclose it all i'm like well mm -hmm. it's part of a blockchain thing and they're like oh but it's ai i'm like yeah but it's a blockchain yeah, so they were oh they don't they, they don't understand confused. yep um, yep but it was fun because even that that's that's and, and you probably hear dan say that too right so when we start talking with folks um, mm -hmm. outside of the space, what happens, and, and my accountant can account for it, um, pun intended, uh, they all get into, <laughs> into blockchain. After a yeah. conversation with myself or with Dan, they start looking into it, and it's quite funny. Uh, mm -hmm. And my accountant now, he, he runs Flux Notes. That's uh, awesome. Good for him. Yep, he runs Flux Notes. Uh, 
the bank uh, fellow that I was working with, um, mm -hmm. he now has uh, more. Uh, so we talk now frequently outside of bank uh, things. So it's quite funny to see um, the outreach you can have by just yeah. yourself really talking, not as a fanboy, but just explaining what the, what the space can do, uh, the coins you're interested, what they really can do. If they have examples, make sure you you let that uh, be seen. People need to know there's more than than uh, doggy coins and 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 all the meme coins uh, that are out there. There's there's a util utility and um, that's that's what I'm trying to do. And as a business hmm. developer, that's my job. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's um, awesome. So in your so in your so you're looking to do a shed setup. Um, yep. And um, I, I I would assume, but I hate to assume too much, that you're not looking to go the ASIC route. Is that correct? Um, I'm not opposed to any ASICs. Okay. Uh, but no, okay. no, uh, not at the start. I'm, I'm definitely not going to be purchasing ASICs at this point. If I want to purchase ASICs, now would be the time. I'll be very yeah. honest. Um, if, if you're into ASICs, now is the time to purchase them. Uh, talking with uh, folks from Bitmain at uh, Bitcoin Miami. Yes, mm -hmm. Flux talked with Bitmain. <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> No, there's no ASICs coming to the Flux Network. That was, that was my next comment to be, you yeah, know, like, I we know, already know I that. Know. <laughs> and I, and that's also the reason why I talked with him. I'm like, hey, because yep. he was asking me, like, what would it take for, for us to get a, a sure. some, something on the network? I'm like, I'm like, probably for you guys, probably easy to figure out. But know that as soon as you do, we fork away. And it'll, yeah, correct. Yeah. It's intentional. It's, the, it's on purpose. Yeah, it's, you know? yeah and, and we... we, we we're very uh, upfront with the uh, folks who are into that space and who are the hardware providers. And we're telling them like, you do it, just know there's not many other coins on, on the use our algorithm. And and the biggest coin on that, that uses the algorithm will fork away. And we've done it yeah. in the past, by the way, it's not the first time. Yeah. Um, so we have precedent and, and we're very open about it. Uh, but yeah, well, Bitmain was a uh, funny guys to talk to, very fun. Sure. Um, no, if if I want to do A6, now would be the time to buy them. Uh, you want to buy them in the bear, and then yeah, uh, even sell them in the bull. Uh, mm -hmm. That that would be my advice. Uh, if you want to do something, sell sell hardware as well in, in in the bull market, and then use those revenues, those profits after, and then buy them back in the in the next bear. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. So no, that would be great. It. So was a lot of your is a lot of your interest in the shed and going the GPU mining route was that fueled by Flux's proof of useful work project? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it was. All right, that's great. Very cool. Yeah, well, that's, that's exciting that's, then. Well, I got talking with Alex, right? So he's he's my main guy for proof of use mm -hmm. work. Um, I think uh, you'll be talking with him too, or, or, yep. or maybe have talked with him already. I don't know. Um, but if you have a chance to talk with Alex, the, the guy is smart. He knows his stuff. And we were talking, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got my mining rigs. He's like, yeah, mm -hmm. what do you want to do with him? I'm like, I'm like, going to prep him for proof of use to work. And he's like, well, you need this, 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 and this. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, boy. And it yeah. got me really fired up again because it was like, oh, that's like in the beginning of my mining career, mm -hmm. tweaking things, finding the right cards, um, what kind of motherboards do you need, all that fun stuff. And I was like, yeah. Talking with Dan, he goes, of course, over the top by the <laughs> GPUs. Yep. But yeah, mine will be a little smaller scale. I'm sure. 150 to 200 tops. Okay. Um, with some A4000s that I have here already. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even even those were from. Uh, they have a backstory too. That maybe for another time. Uh, but I even, so is that is that the GPU you're looking to go with the majority of your farm with is the A4000? Is that kind of where your heart's at at this point, or are you looking to go all over the place? Oh, you you want to meet Leek? Um, oh no, I'm not. I'm just asking. I'm just, no, like for no, it's a fair like, question. It's a fair question. Yeah, um, um, yeah, A4000s are definitely one of my preferred cards. Um, okay. The A6000s, if I can get my hands on them. Okay. Uh, but so you like the workstation, you like those workstation style GPUs, it sounds like. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. yep. Um, but I'm also looking at um, 3 Series, 4 Series, because um, what I learned from my mining adventures mm -hmm. so far is diversify as much as you can, not just in your coins, but also in your hardware. Um, so you can, if something hits in a bit of a slump or whatever you have something else to 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 fall back to 
Um, if you go, it's, it's with everything, right? If you're very centralized, very focused on one, that's basically becomes a, a risk you take. And, and if something happens to um, the type of hardware, the type of software, uh, NVIDIA comes out with a certain type of patches that stops these from being really good. And we saw that with the, the LHR uh, uh, yeah. uh, fiasco that yep. they tried to put in. Fiasco. That, yep. But it, it, it was really bad because what it did was for, for Ethereum miners back then was like, okay, now you really put a, a stop on, on, on availability of video cards, right? Because mm -hmm. we didn't really want them anymore as miners, but then gamers were like, why, what's wrong with the LHR? Why do the miners not want it anymore? Like, Correct. Yeah, to be yeah like what's so the big deal? Really, yeah. Yeah. People that weren't as informed on, on the entire mining thing, they were like, eh, maybe not, but yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. But no, I diversify. Uh, so A4000, some 30 series, uh, some 40 series. Okay. And then uh, uh, keep up with uh, the newer cards uh, and, and sell off. We'll, uh, we'll see the 580. Will we see the 580s uh, working away in the shed too? Those don't never go away. So they're okay. a okay. dig wooden <laughs> frame from back then. Wow. Okay. Hey, you know what? You, you would have even had even more cred if you were like in a milk crate sitting in my garage, you know? <laughs> mm, I have one there. You have one there? Okay. In, in, okay. In an old dusty milk crate with a, uh, what was it? I think it was like a 12 year old motherboard. With, with wow. Good for you. Good Just for you. Good enough for two uh, uh, yep. GPUs on it. Yep. That was it. That's awesome. Well, that's impressive. Well, Jeff Key, I appreciate you joining me today. This was a lot of fun to go a little bit down memory lane and also just kind of get an update on things and find out where you're going. You know, you're just like us, another home crypto miner that that's pursuing their passion and getting excited about a project um, that's in the project and the process of launching. So once again, Jeff Key, thank you very much for joining us. Everybody, guys, for myself and Jeff Key, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Yeah.